I'm about to give you a tip that will transform your short game in 2023. Some people even call this a secret because it's not well known in the golf industry and it needs to be. How do I know this will transform your chipping? Will it transform mine a couple of years ago? Are you that golfer where you feel pretty comfortable off the tee and with your approach shots, but as soon as you get around the greens, you've just got zero confidence. You've got no idea where the ball's gonna go. You don't know if you're gonna thin it, chunk it, or hit a decent chip. And ultimately, it ruins your scorecard. Now, today we're gonna talk through one vital concept, all to do with how we approach apply force on the club. The two main shots that I see that people really struggle with around the greens are thin shots and chunks, so fat shots. Now, why do they happen? Well, they actually are caused by the same reason. It's all to do with how we apply this force on the club. So imagine I'm hitting this chip shot and I freeze in my downswing right around here. Now, if we take the club, I want you to draw an arrow out of this grip in the direction you think I am pushing or pulling on this club. Now, if I was to do that, most people would answer that they feel like they are pushing sort of this way on the handle. So the arrow would be going forwards and sort of in front of the ball. Well, if I just do a quick demonstration, look what happens when I apply force in that direction. You can see the club head actually goes up. If I'm pushing forwards and down, that's gonna cause the club head to go higher. But as you can see, it's also taken all the loft off of the club. Taking the loft off is going to expose the leading edge, which is extremely sharp. So if I'm exposing the leading edge, there's your chunk shot. But also if I'm pushing the handle forward and the club head's coming up, now the club head is closer to my body, so the radius has gotten smaller. So then from there, that's gonna create some thin shots. So straight away you go, okay, that one force applying that way is gonna cause a whole heap of issues. Because sometimes you might dip with the knees to get it down and you might get it all right. Sometimes you might just fat it, so then from there you've got no idea what to do. Or sometimes you might thin it, and again, you've got no idea what to do. So it's a complete guessing game out on the golf course. Where are we supposed to be pushing or pulling? Well, I just gave you a hint there, pulling. If I pull upwards on the handle, so I apply a force, the arrow's just going straight up, where does that club head want to go? It wants to go towards the golf wheel, but also look at what's happening to the loft. I'm releasing the loft out. So this is the secret to chipping that is going to transform your chipping, is where we apply force. We are not pushing on the handle. We are actually pulling upwards on the handle. Now, a lot of people go, well, hold on a second, I'm just gonna thin it. Well, you're not, because look, when I pull upwards on the handle, the club head releases and gets lower. If I push down on the handle, the club head actually goes up. So it's kind of counterintuitive. So this is why you just got to trust this and I promise you it will transform your chip. So now we know we're not trying to apply a force down and forwards on the handle. Instead, we're actually trying to apply an upwards force on it. How can we translate this to a simple swing thought? Because ultimately we've got to be able to repeat this easily out on the golf course. Well, don't worry. I got you covered. Imagine there is a magnet on the end of your grip and also a magnet on your belt buckle. Now, what's gonna happen is in the downswing, you're gonna feel like those two magnets are gonna get closer together. So you're gonna have to be pulling up on the club. So I like my players to really feel like as they come through into their follow through position that their uh, butt end of the grip and their belt buckle are very close together. And this is actually a checkpoint we can use. Go onto YouTube and Google sort of your favorite short game player, like a Tiger Woods or, or somebody like that or uh, Seve Ballesteros, another great example. Watch as they chip. You'll notice everything is really close to their body. Their club is close to their body in the follow through. Their arms are nice and relaxed. They've got a little bit of fold in there and they've turned their chest fully through. This is an indication that they've been pulling up on the handle. Now we can test this. We have tested this and we can see that this is exactly what is happening in their chipping motion. They are applying an upwards force as they chip. This is what allows them to release the club so easily and allows them to use the bounce. So as you're doing these swings, I want you to really feel like you're pulling that butt end of the grip closer to the belt buckle in the downswing. So as soon as we start the downswing, everything's being pulled closer. Now once you've done that a couple of times, then give it a go. Have a go at just hitting that little chip shot. So you're going to go back and through, and as you can see there, I finished in this position. Everything's very close to my body. My arms are nice and relaxed and in. And from there, you can see I really released that handle out and the bounce just glided that club underneath. Here's a quick bonus tip that is gonna make this so much easier. I really like my players when they chip to have really relaxed and soft arms. So a great little drill just to do before you chip is just to set up inside the golf ball and just bring the, the butt end of the grip to your belt buckle and back down just a couple of times. Now what's happening here is, is sort of reminding you the sensation 
conversation that obviously we want to bring the button to the grip closer to the belt buckle on the way through. But as I'm doing this, it's forcing me to relax my arms. If I can relax my arms, I can allow this club to really work the way it wants to work. I can let the weight of the club work. I can present the true loft of the bounce and I can release the club correctly. So just do those a couple of times, just maybe one or two. And then from there, that's relaxed my arms down. Now from this position, I can then go and repeat that same feeling of pulling the, the button to the grip closer to the belt buckle. You're gonna see the club head release really nicely. And from there, I'm gonna finish in a great follow through position. So let me just do that quickly for you. And you can see right there, as I've done that, I finished in a really nice position here. Everything's close, arms are relaxed, presented the true loft of the club, ultimately hit a nice chip. So now you know the directional force we are trying to apply on the club during short game. And I know a lot of you are probably doubting this. You're probably thinking, well, this guy doesn't do it. This guy doesn't do it. I promise you they will be doing it. They'll just be holding their angles a little bit more as they do it, which is absolutely fine. Now, I tried this for the first time about two or three years ago, and literally within one shot, it transformed my chipping. So before you knock it, go out and try it. I promise you, you will see the difference straight away. If you've liked today's video, then please like and subscribe. And if you do have any video requests, then drop them down in the comments down below. 2023, I'm going to be posting a lot of content on YouTube, and I'd love you to be a part of it.